Hi art friends! How are you doing? Merry almost Christmas. <laughs> I've been waiting so long for this. I've managed to find another art related advent calendar. If you cast your brains back to last year, we had a watercolour one. Yes, we did, yeah. Well, the art gods have listened to me this year and they found the perfect art calendar for me. Okay, show me, what is it? The ink vent calendar. Oh, that's cute. Oh, so the, is there ink in like every single, oh wow, there's even a 25. Yep, there's meant to be ink behind every single door. That's actually pretty dang impressive. So that's really I take excited. it, I take it we're gonna be opening door number one and inking with that then, right? Yes. Okay, that sounds good, okay. Do you know where number one is? Number one is over here. Oh yeah, it's right there, do you wanna oh. open it? <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Go on, crack it open, let's oh, have a look. Just before we press the number one door open, I just wanted to let everyone know that we've revamped our Patreon recently because YouTube has been a heckin' roller coaster this past year. Thanks, YouTube. Um, we're, we're trying to focus a bit more heavily on the Patreon, so thank you so much to anyone who's already supporting us over there or if you'd like to support us over there. Yeah, we've got brand new shiny tears for you to check out. Yeah, so we're going to be offering colouring pages and Ooh. podcasts. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Ooh. So be sure to have a look. There's some <laughs> Honestly, there's some really good stuff in there, guys. What colour do you think is going to be behind here? I'm going to say red. You know, something Christmassy, I'm going to say red. I was going to say red. Red or green? You can say green. Oh. I don't want to believe in green. <laughs> <laughs> You've ruined Christmas. Okay, let's have a look. Come on, hey. Oops. show it who's boss. Oh, there's a little bottle in there. Get it out. We all want to see it. <laughs> oh my God. There we go. Right. Oh, blue shimmer peppermint. That sounds delicious. <laughs> oh yeah, oh wow, you can see all the sparkles at the bottom yeah, as well. That's so cool. Oh. Wow, that's a pretty dang nice ink considering it's in like a calendar, jeez. Yeah, it even feels like a cold like glass bottle as well. Wow. Wow, that's no, oh there we go. We can see <gasps> it going around. That's really nice. Oh my God, wow. I kind of want to draw something with like candy canes. Yeah, Is the word yeah. peppermint. Mm. Imagine if it smelled like that. No, because you're drinking, <laughs> God, no. I wonder how light or dark it'll be. It's always kind of hard to tell when it's in the bottle, but there's a lot of shimmer going on in there. I am excited. Okay, there it goes. Okay, okay. I want to... Let me get in good and close. I want to see this. Oh. Ooh. So it is quite dark. Oh, but then again, you like to really layer it on, so... Yeah, I do. And then I'll also do one where I try oh, yeah, and like, that, fade it out. Oh yeah, I appreciate that, hun, yeah. Oh wow, you get quite a lot of mileage out of one little dunkaroo, <laughs> don't you? Jeez, look at all that. Oh, there we go. That's actually really nice. I, I mean, I know I'm biased, but I think I do prefer it the more washed out. Oh, and I can see the twinkles in it. I'll have to, uh, if we can, when, when it's dry, we'll hold it up to the light so you guys can see. You can always see the twinkle things a lot better in the... Uh... The thicker swatches. I think the sparkles that are in it are like a blue coloured sparkle. Ooh. Let me try Yes, they would be, yeah, I remember. Yeah, it is. We, we don't have an ink like that, so that's really cool. Yeah, that's not bad at all, is it? Look at that. That's nice, hun. I wonder if all of them are going to have sparkles in them. Good news, guys. We've already got our Christmas tree up. Have any of you? <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> we never took it down. <laughs> I love how, let me give you a Christmas tree tour. I feel like it's a good time of year to do this now. Oh, okay. Okay, over here we have got a chicken back from when we had a P.O. box. What do you guys sent us a chicken and now he's a festive chicken and a Christmas tree. Christmas chicken. Um, some, um, I was going to call them Christmas lights, but they're definitely not. These are rose lights and I wanted something to light up the Christmas tree, so I just threw these on it. <laughs> We've also got these from Casey Golden. She gave us a, a wiener and also a guinea pig. How many people can say that Casey Golden's given them her wiener? I mean, <laughs> oh, and down here, I've got a little mushroom and a little Christmas train, which you can kind of see peeking out the back there. Are you jealous of our perfect tree? <laughs> We're very hashtag aesthetic this year. I know year. you're jealous of our tree, guys. You don't, you, don't, you don't have to hide it. Let's have a look at what Adam's drawing. Zoom. Oh my god. <laughs> Turn it round so we can see. We're not ostriches. Something festive looking. Maybe it's an elf that'll be dressed in blue, maybe. 
Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, I like the idea of double hats. That's when you're feeling doubly festive, you whip out the double Santa hat. <laughs> Oh, I'd wear a hat like that. It would be fun to wear with, like, pigtails. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It, well, it, I guess they could keep your pigtails warm. Oh, I like this. So I wanted to draw, like, random Christmassy bits. Mm. And I wanted to sort of look as though, like, you're looking down on a table or, like, you're looking underneath a Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah, that stuff makes sense. Under yeah. there. So let me Oh, it looks good. I like all of them. So... I've got like a little gingerbread. It was going to be a gingerbread man, but I think a gingerbread lady might be exciting. Uh, then like a bauble, like Christmas cookies. Ooh. And these are meant to be sort of like the Christmas tree branches, like branching out. Oh, it's like those aesthetic art art pieces that you see. You know when someone finishes a picture and they just whack some twigs on it? <laughs> guys, have you seen, guys, have you seen that before? It's like... You'll finish the picture and just pretend that like these, they finish it and then they'll go like, oh, I'll put a stick there, <laughs> put one there. Like, oh, maybe like a leaf or something. It's to immerse you in the photograph. No, it's not, it gets in the way. I, <laughs> I don't like it. But guys, let me know if you're guilty of doing that. I see it all the time. I just want to know why. <laughs> I want to know why. <laughs> why are you blocking the art that I want to look at? That's all I want to know. If you can write like an essay down in the comments and Adam will um Yeah, something long form. Get, get that engagement going. <laughs> Adam will forgive whoever gives the longest answer. Oh yeah. yeah. I'll uh, I'll be uh, word counting it. That's it. <laughs> do you want me to try first? I, I was gonna do some like inking before I start doing anything like Oh, that. I wanted to go over it as a pencil thing because I thought the grey and blue would look pretty good. Okay. I don't like that. That doesn't sound optimistic at all. I'm optimistic. So I'll give it another, another victory jiggle. <laughs> victory jiggle. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh, it's juicy. I like that. We stand a bit of juice in this house, don't we, honey? There we go. Just like, oh yeah, just don't be afraid. Just like slather it on. I like to pretend like I'm putting Nutella on toast when I watercolour. But that's your role play. Yeah, just like slap it on and like just hope for the best. If that's the case, you can't like Nutella very much if you put such a thin drizzle on your toast. Oh, if it was really Nutella, we would not be thin drizzling. I just like to <laughs> turn the jar upside down and just wait for it to slowly travel down the jar. <laughs> there we go. Be enjoying delicious Nutella in like three months. Although with how cold it is at the moment, I wouldn't be surprised if Nutella, like, froze in the jar. Oh, I really want Nutella now. <laughs> Do we have any? No. <laughs> oh, I'd love some. Get it warm. Like, put it in hot water or something. In hot water? No, the, you know, the jar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not like putting the Nutella. Oh, my God. It's like, ooh, that'd make it really watery. Mm, which, according to you, is what I really like. <laughs> That's true. Oh, delicious watery Nutella. Mm. Prepare yourself one of these days. I'm going to water down some hey, Nutella actually, and wait a second. put it on some bread. You had a really watery uh, hot chocolate today. Steph was very unimpressed. I know, and I refused to drink it. it. Tasted like water. There we go. And then I'll do like something really light on the hair. Make some really nice... <laughs> I was going to say shiny Christmas hair. Is that, is that a thing? There we go. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, it looks sweet. Make it shine, boys. You could make the cape, like, white, but add, like, shading to yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I was going to try and do, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. I love it when our minds meld together, honey. Ooh, this is looking highly festive so far, honey. Is it giving you Christmas vibes? I'm, feel I'm turning into Santa as we speak, hun. Oh, my God, it's actually happening. <laughs> <laughs> is that your bauble? Yeah, I'm doing it upside down, so I can't really... Look at this pro-level art making, just so I can get a good shot. Look, look at this. <laughs> it confuses my brain for what it's worth. <laughs> but for the sake of the video, honey, I'm hecka impressed. Look at that. Yeah, y'all better be impressed. Because <laughs> I'm probably making my line art worse than it needs to be. No, it's looking really good, honey. I like it. Ooh. God. The way you colour it, it's so like, to me I'd be panicking if I put that much paint on, but to you it's like, so natural. <laughs> to me I'd be like, oh my god, I've ruined it. <laughs> the only thing that is like a bit of a pain in the bum is the, uh, the watercolour paper that I'm using. I've mentioned this like a ton of times before, but you can see where I've 
went on like a bit thicker to start off with and it like absorbs it, it so fast. It sucks it up instantly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it is advertised as like multimedia paper. Yes, yeah. But I don't think I'd get like this sketchbook. For watercolours? I mean, have you enjoyed, that's a good question actually, have you enjoyed using it for markers at least or would you just not get that one again? If I was to get one, I'd get the same one as you. The, the specifically watercolour one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh, okay. But the thing is, is that it's a really cute sketchbook, like with the cover and stuff, and I, I don't want to waste it, so I'm gonna like see through to like completing it, and then when it's done, probably crawl back into my comfort zone with a sketchbook hey, that I feel more comfortable with. That's fine though. With. You've pushed your, uh, you've pushed yourself with this one. I think you're entitled to be a little bit comfortable. Honey. <laughs> That is looking really cute though. And gingerbread, like, when people make like gingerbread people, they do have like a, a bit of texture to them. I've never seen like a completely smooth ginger person, so. Yeah, it's got kind of like that cooked texture. Yeah. Oh, look at that little bushy sprout. Mm. Oh, mm. You're complimenting me. Paint that stick. Mm. It's just looking really, really cute. I, I'm always a fan of like. I don't even know what to call them. Like, the word I think of straight away is like diorama. You know where there's just like a ton of different things? Oh, you used to make little dioramas. I did. Way back in the day, but yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Whereas like, instead of like, I would make something that was like, um... Look how much that's spread out there. Stop that. Was the first boy. <laughs> <laughs> But like, whereas I'd make a diorama of one thing, like, your pictures remind me of ones that are like, like really spread out. I don't know the word, there's probably a word for it, but I, I just think it's really cute, hun. The colour in that I'm going for it, since we've obviously only got like this one colour, mm -hmm. I'm trying to go for sort of like, you know like the old fashioned comic book kind of style when it used to be like, one like accent colour, it would be mostly like black and white, but then there'd be like, a like third colour. Yeah, a pop of like a third one, yes. yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to do that, so I might go over afterwards and um, colour in some areas a bit blacker. Yeah, like let it dry and then you can make it dark. That'd be pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, and I might um, colour in the background in like a light wash, so hopefully it can sort of disguise some of the, oh, the splodging. Well, I honestly think it's looking really cute so far. I love it when you do this kind of thing, I think it's really cute. Okay guys, here's what we managed to create with some festive blue ink, which I'm actually quite impressed with. It's not the colour that I was particularly expecting, but I think it's very cute. One thing that you might be expecting is us plugging our butt. <laughs> we got <laughs> we got owner over here, and we got Doodles and me over here, which is available on Amazon. So if you're stuck for Christmas gifts, or if you're just feeling really generous, buy our book. It's so good, I put my fist on it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time for another Doodle Day. Bye. Bye. -bye.